Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Look at that. That's a solid hour right here. And that's, that's how precise is that? You know what I'm talking about? Long range FPV is coming with the RC helicopters now. Look how easy it is to fly backward inverted now. Look at this. My helicopter is landing all by itself. Your helicopter becomes your puppy. Radio on the ground. I don't want to do any fancy advertising stuff. I just showed you everything as it went. So learning to fly helicopter has just become as easy as one, two, three. Assalamualaikum and greetings, Ali Shamma here. Welcome to a new era of RC helicopters. Yes, I was trying to make a video series, a complete tutorial teaching you learn to fly 3D RC helicopters or how to fly 3D RC helicopters. Well, now I don't have to do that video series. I don't have to take I don't have to take any trouble to make long video series teaching you how to fly RC helicopters or learn to fly RC 3D helicopters. Technology is going to take care of that now. I have here is the FW450 helicopter with H1 a GPS autopilot system for 3D RC helicopters. That means now the helicopter actually becomes like a drone. All you need to do is take off. It will hold the position, give you plenty of time to think about its orientation or your orientation, fly it around, make a mistake, leave the sticks. It will hover there waiting for your next commands. Not only that, you can auto fly circles and figure eight with H1 autopilot without even having to move any stick and if you lose control of the helicopter if the battery goes down or your helicopter goes out of control range it will auto return to home and land and flame out power off the motor how cool is that not only that if you want to impress your friends by doing 3d or flying the helicopter all around inverted nose in tail in inverted all you need to do is flip one switch, helicopter will automatically go inverted and keeping the control same, all you need to do is go fly it around, forward, backward and when you want, flip the switch again and put it back to the normal flight, impressing your friends. How cool is that? I mean, it's even more cool to have all those features on FW450 with H1 GPS autopilot system with for RC helicopters and when your skills are improved you can switch the helicopter to 3d mode that means disengage GPS and turn on the professional mode so that when you go inverted controls go inverted like a normal 3d helicopter will do and you can practice your moves that you have learned in GPS mode well this is just getting better and better so, I'm happy I don't have to make a long video series on learning to fly or how to fly 3D RC helicopters and how to perform 3D tricks. I just have to make a complete video giving you a complete demonstration of H1 flight controller and FW450 helicopter and showing you all the features that I've just talked about and see how it performs and how those things actually happen. So, let's do it. This is a complete RTF ready to fly system for you that is FW450 with H1 GPS autopilot system ready control battery charge everything so just go ahead and check it out what comes inside the box. Starting from the left you have a very beautiful FW450 helicopter canopy then you have a helicopter main body which has already been prepared uh, and every connections are already made with H1 flight controller, H1 GPS flight controller. So you just need to put the tail in, which is right here. This is the tail of the helicopter with a brushless motor and a three blade propeller and a GPS installed on it. So you basically have to insert the tail in you and make sure that you put this uh, ESC inside and connect it to the brushless motor back there. You might need to take the motor out. So I'll show you that when I'm setting it up, okay? So this is this. 
after that you have a very nice charger hot RC charger which can charge uh, 3s or 4s batteries using the balance ports and it provides up to 3 amp output currents which is more than enough to charge uh, up to 5000 milliamp batteries easily and we have a user manual sets of main blades main rotor blades have a radio control which is a fly sky radio very nice radio control i have i remember reviewing it and it has already been set up and programmed for you including the stickers stuck here that show what each switches do very good job uh, this is really a very good job done right here okay and then we have a 2600 milliamp 4s battery here and these two screws right here and this should bring the motor out okay now do remember the motor have to be you know really perpendicular to the body okay so now i'm just gonna put this esc in the tail goes in esc should come out from the other side okay now mounting it in a way that you have to make sure the gps is you know horizontally leveled to the h1 flight controller facing upward you will have to move the tail all the way to the second uh, clamp which is inside and you can just loosen this uh, screw there is a hole already provided in the carbon fiber plate so you can loosen it and tighten these screws easily now I just need to make sure the ESC is coming out because you cannot pull it too much okay and quickly connect the motor the motor will connect only one way so don't worry too much about it you don't want to tighten it too much you know enough that that you can use some force and see the tail is not moving okay okay now you can push the motor up and again making sure that the motor is perpendicular to the body right it's a 90 degree perpendicular to the body and I want you to really take care of this a step because if your motor is slightly pointing you know this way or downward you're gonna have trouble uh, the gyro also gonna have trouble holding proper probably once the tail is installed don't forget to connect the GPS to the GPS port of the H1 flight controller all right welcome back now that you know how easy it was to put it together all you need to do is power it on compass calibration and start flying before we go ahead, look at the radio control system. This is mode 2, so throttle up, down, helicopter goes up, down, rudder, yaw, helicopter, nose left and right, strap left and right, that is move left and right, pitch forward and backward, that is go forward and backward. And then you have forward or inverted, so when you flip this switch, helicopter will automatically go inverted flip it back it will come back to normal this is your GPS return to home and 3d mode so if you want to fly it in 3d without any GPS put it down middle GPS assisted which you will really need when you are learning to fly and if you make mistake or you are being lazy you don't want to fly a helicopter back home just click it flick it up home and helicopter will automatically fly back home and land okay and then if you want to impress your friends circle and eight fly figure eight fly right here uh, arm and disarm the motor switch right here this is the h1 flight controller the h1 autopilot system which is already installed in the helicopter later i will make another video showing you how to install the h1 autopilot system in any helicopter that you have at your home and configure it with futaba radio control so that video is coming going to come later first off i need to do the compass calibration dance so let me show it to you you will have to have computer which I have spoken to the factory and they said they are developing an Android app and iOS app which will take some time but it will come later which will be really nice and sweet so let's start the computer and do the calibration dancing on assist software I am going to plug the USB and COM3 connection so let's check if the connection is okay or not can see my inputs are showing me everything is working all right so I need to go to sensors 
and calibrate the compass. Now, this is going to be trouble with the USB cable connected, but I will try to do it, okay? And you have to do a lot of movements, all right? So, let's go further so you can see. Magnetometer cal calibration. Please start spinning, okay? One, and two. Helicopter, head down. One, and two. Then, I am going to do this. One, and two. One, and ah, two, okay? And also you have to do this, and this, okay? It says, calibrate the magnetometer, please restart the flight control. So I am successful, awesome, good. And we will restart the flight controller. All right, let's go. Everything is ready. Everything shows okay. Let's see how it goes. Unlock. Run. Hi, butterfly. Don't go there. My helicopter is taking off. So I'm going to take off. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Are you watching this? <laughs> For the very first time, a helicopter is hovering all by itself. I mean, look at that. The parameter is a little confused though, but look at that. That's a solid hover right here. Can you imagine that? I mean, how easy it has become to fly an RC helicopter now. So, let me fly it around. See, now you can easily fly an RC helicopter. Even a baby can fly RC helicopter. I want Hadi, Abdul Hadi, the six-year-old who have never flown a 3D RC helicopter in his life ever. I want him to fly. So as soon as you leave, see, leave the sticks, it stays there. So, bring it down. Are you need, I mean, I can actually fly it by one hand now. You see, this, this, this. I can impress people by my pyros. <laughs> this is absolutely charming. Let me just shoot one shot for my for my doyen. Hold on. I'm gonna put the radio down. I'm gonna shoot a clip. Hold on. All right, my clip is done. Now, let's uh, test other stuff. Oh my God, the flight performance is amazing. I mean, look at that. And any time you make a mistake, leave the sticks. And look at the helicopter going really, really stable right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go a little higher to clear the fence and fly a circle, okay? So here we go. Circle. Oh, that's a point of interest. Oh my God, now you can install a camera and aerial film with RC helicopters. I have a two axis gimbal that I can install on that. Sweet, it's point of interest. 
You know what I'm talking about? Long range FPV is coming with the RC helicopters now because this helicopter with a bigger battery can fly one hour. Trust me, people have tried it. Okay, so that was a circle. Now I'm stopping the circle, all right? And going to eight fly. Look at that, it's flying figure eight while I hold the radio in my hands. Okay, that's one circle. And that's <laughs> how precise is that? I mean, <laughs> can you imagine that? How precise figure eight is that? I mean, come on. I don't have to do anything now. I just have to find a seat and sit down. Okay, normal flight. Now comes the real thing. Let's test the auto return to home now, okay? So I'm gonna go here. Normally it, it will climb up to a certain altitude and back. So I'm gonna drop the altitude a little. Switch to home. Okay? And you can see I'm not touching the radio. Helicopter is going up. That's like about 20 meters altitude. Nose in flying. Awesome. Nose in flying. That's nice. And now the way I flew, I mean I took off tail in, it's gonna land tail in as well. It's coming down, it's coming down. Check this out, it's coming, it's coming. I'm still holding the radio. See, I'm still holding the radio and my helicopter is landing all by itself. <clears throat> there you go. And power off. <laughs> I mean, motor to sound. How sweet is this? I mean, <laughs> I cannot even tell you. How amazed I am with the precision of the H1 flight control and the helicopter, the RTF combo, the way it's behaving. I'm just, wow. All right, in order to try inverted flight, I was told you have to switch the battery to 4S. Don't try it on 3S. So now there's a 4S battery in there and I'm gonna be in GPS mode as you can see. Let's hope things go right and I'm also told that you should have at least 10 meters altitude for safety purposes for the very first time. Okay, so, <laughs> so far the helicopter has proven to be doing really well, so higher altitude. Look at that! <laughs> Look at that! And now control, in the easy mode controls will stay the same. They will never go, you know, wrong. I mean in, inverted as in 3D helicopters. So forward is forward, backward is backward, left is left, right is right. You can see left is left, right is right, forward is forward, backward is backward. And down is down and up is up. In real 3D helicopters, down is up, up is down. So this is an easy mode. It's gonna get me really wrong on my orientation. So I'm just gonna do it once for the sake of demonstration. All right, now you can fly it like a normal helicopter. You see what I'm talking about? Now you're impressing your friends. Flying it like a normal helicopter while it's inverted. Look how easy it is to fly backward inverted now, even for a beginner. I mean, this is just wow. So you can reduce the altitude once you are in inverted mode. So I'm reducing the altitude, reducing the altitude, slowly, slowly. Look at this. Are you looking at it?
invert it all by itself. So I'm going to go up and switch to normal flight. Let's go up, higher, okay. Oh, look at that. The tail actually s spoke to me with a scream. So once again, and once again. <laughs> I mean, you should look at my face, man. I'm amazed. I'm amazed at what you can do with this helicopter. With the H1 flight controller, the GPS autopilot, your helicopter becomes your puppy, just like a drone, an ordinary drone. What I'm planning to do now is install FPV system on it, an HD camera on it, and, you know, go for some FPV flights with a helicopter for the first. I mean, I have done it before, but now it's really safe to do FPV. And if anything goes wrong, I go out of range, it will auto-return to home and land. I don't have to worry about that. How cool is that? Let's do it one more time. Let's enjoy flying it around, man. I'm not enjoying flying it around. But, you know, as a beginner, you don't want agility. You want GPS-assisted flight, so you learn to fly correct your orientation i mean look at this nose in when the helicopter is nose in left is right right is left okay backward and forward is stay that way but forward brings the helicopter close to you that's where many beginners make mistakes but now you you don't have to worry about it. it's hovering so you can actually experiment and if anything goes wrong leave the sticks and it's right there that is superb, man. And when you want to do 3D, climb up and flip a switch. That's it. Bring it down to impress your friends. Let me see if there are any kids around. No kids around. I mean, look at this. This is absolutely, simply, absolutely amazing. I'm watching it. Man, you can actually cut grass properly now. You can really cut grass properly. Look at that. I can actually leave the radio on the ground. Okay. And let's shoot one more clip. Radio on the ground. Helicopter is here. How sweet it is. All right. So, go up. And switch back. That's it. And you know what? I am really lazy. So I'm just gonna leave the helicopter there. And I'm gonna let it come back home. There you go. I put the radio control down. And look at that. Helicopter is coming back by itself. Radio is down, helicopter is coming by itself. Radio is down, helicopter is landing all by itself.
man this is absolutely I know you must be I mean really it is just like this you have been watching my flight I don't want to do any fancy advertising stuff I just showed you everything as it went this was my very very first flight very very first inverted I did not practice anything this is a ready to fly combo the way it came I brought it out and I performed the flight demonstration and you have seen everything is working just fine now with this raid now with this FW450 helicopter 3d helicopter and H1 autopilot system with GPS learning to fly RC helicopter is just a breeze anyone can fly 3d RC helicopters now anyone can do inverted forward backward inverted funnels pyro funnels inverted funnels auto circle figure eight sir I mean even a kid can now fly this helicopter not only fly but also perform 3d so learning to fly helicopter has just become as easy as one two three stay tuned for more videos coming for FW 450 helicopter with h1 autopilot system your way very soon and yes you're wondering where to buy it go check out the link in the video description You know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on. Don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.